The following short animation explains how to construct a secure reinforced wall. If you have any queries or questions about building a secure reinforced wall, please contact Tobermore or consult an independent engineer prior to construction. In reinforced walls, the soil reinforcement is placed in horizontal layers throughout the height of the wall. Commonly, geogrid is used. The reinforced wall must be built large enough to retain the pressures from the soil behind it. The wall face is made up of secure segmental concrete units that can tolerate some differential movement. Any weight above a wall is known as a surcharge. Common surcharges include buildings, driveways, patios and slopes. Slopes above a wall should be kept to 30 degrees or less. A slope in front of a wall could lead to erosion and may reduce stability. Reinforced retaining walls are typically designed by an engineer. Geogrid is a manufactured mesh-like material installed in layers during the wall construction at lengths normally determined by the engineer. The geogrid is placed in layers between the blocks and covered with backfill material which is then compacted. This creates a soil mass structure behind the wall resisting the forces acting against it. Here are some examples of completed projects. Reinforced retaining walls provide many advantages over traditional retaining wall structures. These include being able to be laid dry, therefore faster to build without the need of skilled labour, cost effective and aesthetically pleasing. Reinforced retaining walls can be built to a considerable height. Tobermore have been involved in projects with walls reaching 12 metres in height. Terrace walls can also be used effectively using the Secura system. Secura blocks are available in three colours, heather, bracken and slate. Tobermore have three products which can be used on reinforced wall projects, Secura Minor, Secura Major and Secura Grand. There are two options when considering which type of wall you are going to construct. A cut and fill wall is where you cut into the slope and then remove the soil from in front and behind the wall position then refill with approved material. A fill wall is where you are placing the wall at the bottom of a slope and then filling in behind it. Once your wall has been properly planned out and designed, always follow the guidelines provided. Ensure that you are using the correct materials as specified by the designer and manufacturer. This animation uses the Secura Grand block but the same principles apply for other blocks in the Secura range. The animation presented for this reinforced wall installation uses a cut and fill method. Once the project area has been cleared, a foundation for the secure wall must be prepared. When excavating the foundation, if you encounter organic or wet soil, you must remove this and replace it with granular material. The foundation for secure ground reinforced wall should be 600mm wide and 350mm deep. Place a 150mm deep foundation of 25 newtons concrete, leaving sufficient depth to install one course of blocks below ground level to prevent the wall slipping forwards or rotating. Ensure the foundation material is compacted and level. Before installing the first course of blocks, remove the nib from the back of the blocks with a club hammer and bolster. Place the blocks using a spirit level to ensure the blocks are level from front to back as well as along the length. Use a rubber ballot to make minor adjustments. Leave a 2-3mm gap between the blocks to maintain joint alignment and to allow for any movement of the ground. Careful attention to the levels on the first course will ensure a quality finished wall. Use a 4 foot spirit level to span multiple blocks to check the level of the entire first course. You can also use a string line for sighting down the back of the blocks on the first course. Place a drainage pipe at the back of the foundation, ensuring it falls to a suitable outlet. Once the first course is installed, use approved on-site material to fill any space at the front of the wall. This will prevent the wall shifting while you are backfilling and compacting. Secure Grand has two voids in the block. We recommend filling these voids using graded granular filter material with a maximum stone size of 20mm. These voids should be filled before building the next row. Before installing the next course of blocks, use a brush to remove any aggregate from the top which may affect the levels of the next course. Continue installing the next course to achieve a broken bond pattern. Lower the blocks directly into position. Ensure the nib at the back of the block 
is tight against the block below. Backfill the area behind the wall with 20mm clean graded drainage stone in a 300mm wide layer. Then fill the remaining area with a compactable free draining material. Organic soil or clay material is not recommended as these are not free draining and can lead to a build up of water pressure behind the wall. You should now compact the free draining material behind the 20mm clean graded drainage stone working away from the wall. Compacting should be done in 250mm layers. Compaction by plate vibrator is recommended but static or vibrating rollers should be kept 1 metre away from the back of the wall. Roll out the geogrid on top of the backfill at the specified course level on the design, ensuring that the edge is 25 millimetres back from the front of the block, that it is level at all times, and folds or undulations are removed using pegs if necessary. Always ensure the geogrid is butt jointed and never overlapping as this can cause rutting in the wall. Continue installing further rows of Secura Grand, filling voids, backfilling and installing geogrid as outlined on the design. Never build any higher than three courses before backfilling the wall as this can lead to deformation of the wall. If you need to cut or split any blocks, this can be easily done using a hammer and chisel or a still saw. To finish off the wall, a coping can be added. Place the copings using butyl cord or an approved adhesive to ensure copings are securely in place. Eye protection and safety equipment should be worn at all times during construction. Secura Grand is the ideal product for reinforced walls. It has many key advantages. It is dry laid, therefore faster to build without the need of skilled labour. It is cost effective and it is aesthetically pleasing. If you are considering a retaining wall scheme, Tobermore can provide you with a visualisation of how the scheme will look. Tobermore have produced a comprehensive product brochure and FAQ document to provide you with assistance when building retaining walls. These contain all the technical information you should require, including drawings and how walls can be constructed for larger projects. Internal and external radiuses, as well as 90 degree internal and external corners, can also be constructed. Please go online to download these documents or contact your nearest Tobermore office.